this is gate instrumentation 2022 question so in this question a digital circuit is given to you in this digital circuit you have two multiplexer you can see the question is asking what is the function that is implemented okay in this digital circuit what is this function f that is implemented first you tell me what is the output of this multiplexer this first multiplexer what is the output of this first multiplexer you can see for the first multiplexer on the select line you have variable b on the select line you have variable b on the select line yes or no so you can see let's call it p let's call it p so this p will be equal to what you can see on the select line you have variable b so if you put b equal to 0 this output p will be i0 okay remember when you put on the select line when you put 0 when you put b equal to 0 then output will be i0 i0 means 1 so when you put b bar then output will be 1 or when you put b equal to 1 on the select line if you put 1 then output will be i1 that is 0 so finally your p is nothing but b bar this p this is nothing but b bar okay what is f you can see f is if you put a bar means if you put a equal to 0 then this f will be equal to i0 that is 1 and when you put a equal to 1 then this f will be i1 okay so that will be a bar or a what is i1 i1 is p so that is a bar or a p is b bar okay now you can what you can do see this is a this is a rule we have alpha or alpha bar beta what you can do alpha or alpha bar beta what you can do here you can remove this alpha bar and you can simply write it alpha or beta this is a rule see this is a very simple rule if you have alpha or alpha bar beta what you can do you can apply the distributive property just apply the distributive property apply the distributive property so you will get alpha or alpha bar and alpha or beta now this is nothing but one so finally you will go you will get alpha or beta this is the same thing i am saying okay so you can do this remember whenever you have alpha or alpha bar beta you can remove this alpha bar you will get alpha or beta so here also the same thing what you can do a bar or a b bar okay remember a bar or a b bar the same thing remember here this is your alpha here this is your alpha bar yes or no so finally you can remove this a okay so remember when you have this equation what you can do you can remove this a so finally you will get a bar or b bar this is what you are going to get so finally here we have a bar or b bar that is same as a b whole bar using the de morgan law that is same as a b whole bar so the answer will be option a